Hi and welcome to all of my badass tribe members here in Visionary Feminine Leaders. I am craving sacred sisterhood. Coming from the legal industry, it was super easy to sit with another lawyer at a bar and bitch about all of our clients and the judge and the legal system and all the woes of being an attorney. We found a, a kindred spirit in commiserating about all the bullshit we had to deal with. In the spiritual community, when I sit with other soul sisters, we never bitch, we never moan and complain. We talk about how amazing it is to be living such a divine purpose and to have such an amazing connection with our soul sisters. So last weekend, I was at a training and one of my good friends that lives a couple of hours away was also at the training and there were only five of us, it was very intimate. So the instructor knows that this girl and I have a history and we're pretty close. So he gave me as her partner. So it was really so deep and so evocative that I got to share the space with her and share the healing with her and I got to be the conduit for her healing. She has some deep-seated issues about not having children and she said to me she's like but you look like you have it all and she's never said that to me before so it gave us a whole new level of depth in our friendship and my message to her was from the outside looking in lots of people appear to have a great life a great perspective, a great grounding, a perfect experience. It's never the same on the inside. So what I'm living looks ideal to her, but it's not. My own life has guilt and regret and disconnection, not only with my kids and my husband, but with friends. So I don't want you to ever compare your situation with the situations of your friends because honestly, even if they tell you everything's wonderful, it might not in fact be. There's always something that people have to deal with. But the, the beauty of this conversation with my dear friend was now we know each other on an even deeper level. And we knew each other pretty well up to that point, but there's always a greater intimacy that you can share with soul sisters because they understand the path that we're on. And when I said that you don't bitch and moan and complain, it's not always going to be a super uplifting, fantastic, oh, I'm changing the world kind of conversation. I am changing the world. Let's, let's call that exactly what it is. However, there are bumps in the path. So having a wonderful network of soul sisters and tribes members is what gets you through and over those bumps. So I want to thank each and every one of you for being a huge integral member of my tribe and helping to build this network of soul sisters that we have. So reach out, drop us a note. If there are women in the group that you don't know, introduce yourself. Introduce yourself to me. I wanna learn uh, all about all of you. Some of you I know fairly well, some of you I don't know at all. So I would love to hear more about you. Don't hesitate to go live in the group. I love lives. So if you want to do a shared live with me, drop me a note, that would be awesome. Then we could interview each other a little bit because there might be things about me that you all wanna know. Like, am I really 6'3"? Yes, I am. <laughs> I could probably dig up a picture next to my mother who is 5'6". Um, but I don't know what you don't know about me. So I wanna share. 
I want to get to know all of you. So thank you for being part of my tribe and part of my soul sister network. And I will catch up with you soon. Have a great Memorial Day weekend. Peace and badass magic to all of you.